hey, it's a dolphin. Let's get inky. And today I've got my third traveler's notebook insert flip to show you. I am also uploading a faster version just to music if that's your jam, if you don't want to come along for all of the chatty inky tangents that we will go on. Uh, and I will also link in the description below all of my previous traveler's notebook flip throughs as well if they take your fancy if you'd like to see some more. So this is my new uh, Traveller's Notebook cover. It's a Webster's Pages one and a beautiful inklet sent this to me. Um, I won this charm. Oh, I don't know what it, what was her name? I won it somewhere on YouTube and um, I got one on here and one on my previous Traveller's Notebook. And this is what it looks like inside. I like it because it has four strings which I think is really handy uh, especially if you're, if you're doing smaller inserts. So this insert that I'm using now is smaller than my previous two which hang on I'll just grab and show you. So this was my first Traveller's Notebook and oh hello mystery pen. <laughs> I was looking for that because I just bought it. I haven't even tried it yet. Well, there you go. Uh, this was my first one and I used uh, 003 inserts from the Traveller's Company and there were a lot more pages in those and there was no way this one was fitting in here. So time for a new cover, which I'm definitely more than happy with. <laughs> uh, so this insert came from Another inklet sent this to me and I have a feeling it may, someone said that they recognised the cover from Felicity Jane, it could have been. Uh, I covered it obviously with stickers and things because it's much more my jam and I've covered my previous two as well. So I've got, this is 2017 and then these are photos from 2018. And then these are photos from 2019. So I I really love this insert. I Something that I love is really crisp white paper. And I also look for paper that's a little bit thicker because I do brush lettering uh, on here as well. So let's get into it. I've also contacted them because all of the stickers were starting to like flang off and... Ain't nobody got time for flanging stickers and it's also broken, um, which is frustrating. I have a long arm stapler, so I could try and re-staple it, but when it's in the, the cover, it's it's not really a, a problem. So I just, I just deal with it in the elastic. So all of these videos, I think majority of these are on my Let's Get Inky channel as Journal With Me videos. If you are a new subscriber, if you've just stumbled upon this video in the wild universe of the YouTube recommended vids and only, I think all of them are on here. There might be one or two that were from uh, Patreon videos. All right, so we start off with, um, usually I don't do the first page, so I usually I, I just do a little thing or I think with this one I just completely yeah I just <laughs> for some reason completely skipped the first page on that one and then my latest I've started a new insert and I've skipped a couple of pages at the front because uh, there's some specific photos that I want to put in there but yeah, usually I don't do the front but I think because it had um, a pattern paper background, I felt the urge to, to cover it with something. So this was just a nice little page about where we we're at uh, at this point because I was preggy with Violet at this point. So we were just a family of three at the start um, of this insert. So I wanted to, to document that. We call Archie, um, Archie Bear. So this sticker was perfect to put in here and then using up lots and lots of washi the uh, textures that you'll see, or markers, whatever you may call them, uh, they're all the Tombow dual brush markers. 
and I do have quite a, a stash of them that I've accumulated. Uh, I think they're a really great brush marker if you are, especially if you are beginning with brush lettering and uh, they're readily easily accessible. They're available in lots of shops. Uh, there's also like multi packs that you can buy. They are expensive. So here in Australia, one of these will put you back about seven dollars. So I would suggest maybe buying like a black and then two colors that you love um, before you buy 50,000 of them <laughs> just to check that you like them. And then we go on. This was a little spread about Archie and his little friend Monty. And um, I used a lot of, I think this was a scrap stash sat day video where I used a lot of paper scraps that I had lying around, some painted paper as well. And for the last, probably the last year and a half, a really big goal of mine has been to use up my stash and to dive into some of those sticker sheets that I may have pushed to the side a little bit uh, because we all have them. You know, when we get new shiny things into our stash, we're like, ooh, you're my new favorite. And the other things do get left behind a bit and I'm sick of the half use sticker sheets so um, you'll notice there's a few like older collections in here and uh, I love mixing that with the, the new things as well and then this was a big day so this is when Archie moved from a cot uh, to a big boy bed and Violet's now in that cot obviously and soon she she, she started the climb which ooh. We didn't have to deal with with Arch. He never tried to climb out of his cot. Basically, we had to get him out of the cot and used to a toddler bed uh, a couple of, uh, like a few months before Violet came so that it didn't feel like his cot was getting taken away from him for the new baby. Uh, but yeah, Violet, Violet is climbing. So uh, she will be going into Archie's yellow bed and then we have a new Ikea. Um, it's like a loft bed that you can turn upside down as well so you can have it as a, a single bed on the like you know floor height or on the ground and then you can fling it upside down and have it like a bunk bed with a space underneath complicated bed tangent uh, but yes I really like this page and something that I'm really trying to do more of in my new insert is including like little magazine images because when I first started I was looking the other day when I first started my Traveler's Notebook, oh, let me know in the comments actually, are you from the original Traveler's Notebook insert days? <laughs> Have you been an inklet for that long? Um, but when I first started, I didn't actually use photos. So the only things that I used were um, like magazine images that I liked and stickers. Um, I didn't even do a lot of brush lettering either. And I, I really love the look of this. I definitely won't get rid of the photos anytime soon. Um, I love photos as well, but yeah, it, my style has changed um, a little bit and I do want to go back to, you know, including little, little magazine images and things that I, um, things that make me happy that I stumble across and, and save and then they just uh, pile up or get lost in my craft room. I used uh, a bit of paper from a magazine here, as well as some washi tape. I think this may have been a scrap stash that day as well. Next up, we have these photos, which I feel like I've documented like five times, but I took a lot of photos this day and it was just a really nice wintry day. Uh, and I loved the pop of red of his little beanie. And this is when I was trying to use a few sticker sheets that were a bit more difficult in their colors in that not these stickers in particular but the rest of the sticker sheet has colors that i find a bit challenging a lot of oranges and greens and uh so i thought by tiptoeing into the sticker sheet with colors that i do like i may have more hope of using the colors that i that i don't so much like I always outline my brush lettering um, if you are a new viewer and I just use my Pilot G207 
um, black pen for all of my writing and outlining it's it's a good pen it's it's nice and not too expensive and I can go through them and not feel bad <laughs> I always feel like if I, I not that I have any expensive pens but I'd be a bit worried to use them all up and then have to buy another one so here are some more photos with Uncle Ben which is our bestie and I used uh, some inky printables that I had printed onto sticker paper uh, and I used a few more of those stickers from that sheet that I was talking about that was full of colors that I wasn't quite comfortable with uh, and I love this like fake photo strip um, that I've got down the side here something I've also really been enjoying is doing writing in different orientations as well and I think that's nice to especially if you've got two writing spaces that are right next to each other on either side of the spine it can sometimes get a little bit chaotic and you don't know if you're meant to read across or if you're meant to read down and then read like that and so if you you know I like to break that up by changing the, the orientation of the text and then oh it's book week at the time of recording this video it's currently book week now three years later and um, we did recycle he was a dinosaur again this year but you can't beat dinosaurs I feel like they're just a solid childhood staple I used to be obsessed with dinosaurs um, but because of the dinosaur I thought I would jump on some of these more themey embellishments that perhaps you know I wouldn't stick on any random photo like a selfie or something something like a floral or a star I can pretty much weave into any themed photo Dinosaurs are a little bit more of a niche, <laughs> and um, I don't think I'd put like footprints of dinosaurs on any old photo. So when I had an opportunity, I jumped on it. Uh, I did a lot of writing on this page, and I use I printed these photos on my Canon selfie, which is currently broken. I think I'm going to uh, ask Aaron for a new one for Christmas, maybe and the, I collaged them using the Project Life app. I don't have a video on my printing process but I will at some point. It's a video that's been on my to-do list for about three years. Uh, I will get it. I will. <laughs> I will, I promise. If I could just not break my selfie again that would be great. That would be great. Uh, so again using the brush markers and little bits of washi. This one was a fun one to do um, and we did take quite a jump. So yeah some of the photos I don't go in really specific chronological order but there is a big jump between this I think he's one and three quarters maybe here and then he's all of a sudden he's three um, but you know I'm not as fast in my traveler's notebook at keeping things so ordered uh, and I wanted to do a page all about fashion Archie is a bit of a fashion unique guru. He he knows what he likes and uh, he loves to rock a bit of a unique style sometimes. He often transforms his clothes into like crops or um, you know pants will become shorts and all sorts of crazy head accessories and things. And I, I knew I had this photo um, of me when I was a little girl, very 90s this, this photo is. And it just reminded me so much of this photo of Arch with his fluoro yellow shoes and fox blanket as headwear. Um, and so I did this little page with a tipping and I just washi taped it in. Um, this was a card from a citrus twist uh, life crafted monthly kit and it's the perfect size to include as a little tip in I really love this page I also used a few inky printables as well um, from my patreon here's another one and I think it's nice to have the the contrast of the bright white page with this colored um, insert and with a quote on it so there's that one then this was a little page about arting and crafting. Uh, I like to, you know, I, I'm a work from home mum, so I, I don't 
most of my photos are of the kids because I don't go out and socialize a lot. I don't have work colleagues to go and have lunch with and things. And so it's nice to break up the constant kid photos with something a bit different, even though there's literally a kid in both of these photos. But still, it's not a kid smiling at a camera photo, right? Uh, and so I like to document, you know, what I'm up to. And um, I was really getting back into uh, traveler's notebooks and things. So um, I talked a little bit about that with this one. It's a bit of a crazy chaotic page with all of the stickers, but I think this washi tape by having it at the top and the bottom, it really helps like frame everything in so it doesn't run away. <laughs> oh, the buns. So this was a fun little page that I made about our girls who are both sadly not with us anymore. Um, they both live to the ripe old age of eight, um, which for bunny, indoor bunnies, it's, it's pretty good. It's like they were elderly girls. And uh, I used this piece of paper. I made a altered uh, art journal out of a recipe book and I ripped out a heap of pages before starting so that it wouldn't get too chunk. Um, if you're one of my Patreon peeps, you'll be familiar with my Jamie journal. And I took apart some of the pages and I threw out the ones of like, you know, cooking lamb and like roast veggies and things that I, I wouldn't be able to use again. Um, but if there was cool text pages, I saved, saved them and put them in my collage stash. Um, so that's what that piece is. And then added as many bunny <laughs> bits and pieces as I could, um, as well as little tiny word stickers. And then, oh, this was a fun page. <laughs> um, this was Arch and his, one of his very first artworks, uh, which he told me is a girl in a towel. Yep, yep, as, as you do. Um, didn't know if I should be. <laughs> concerned that he's, he's drawing girls in towels at age two but we're all good I'm just kidding of course just kidding um, but I wanted to put that little ah I forgot to turn my phone on silent sorry peeps um, I wanted to pop that photo in and um, pair it with a few of my you know recent arting adventures um, of my color journal and a patreon print that I was illustrating and then this is one of my printables paired with a few random stickers like a lemon soda I just I don't know when I'd use it I don't drink soft drink uh, and or pop or soda whatever you may call it and so I thought hey let's just pop it on this page and I feel like travelers notebooks are a great way to kind of insert those random stickers that you might not typically reach for um, things that are a little bit you know not your usual jam uh, and yeah, it's a good way to, to sneak those in. Oh, I love this page. There was something about this page that it was just a different kind of, uh, I don't know, different composition for me. Um, usually I treat each page as their own individual vertical space. Whereas for this one, I wanted to do something that was more layouty, I guess you could say. Uh, and so I wrote across the page and I think having the washi tape run all the way across the bottom really helped your eye go across the page and you know read the text across and I love this page I even though it's very green <laughs> green is my, my jam uh, I really do I really do like it and I feel like having this little washi tape it's the little details this little washi tape has Kind of like an arrow design and I feel like it leads your eye across and then this one leads you down and then this one leads you across the page as well. Oh I love this page. Uh, so these were some photos of my scrappy peeps and I, I, I'm I very into if you haven't noticed <laughs> here and here. Very into the faux photo strip and um, I thought that it was great to mirror that with a little paint swatch that I had made. Um, I don't know what I made that for. Who knows, but I do love a good paint swatch. And then trying also to use, along with the, <laughs> the random things that I typically wouldn't reach for, like a coconut cocktail. I don't drink cocktails. Uh, I don't drink. So the, the chances of, and I don't travel anywhere. <laughs> so I don't, I don't have a lot of 
interaction with coconuts. Um, and so I thought this was a good one because um, the girls were drinking cocktails and then also trying to use some big giant stickers along with the random ones as well. And then I've got a little, so I don't think in here I actually, yeah, I didn't actually do a page about, hey, we're having a baby. And I probably should have. Um, this is the first mention of baby. And um, yeah, I kind of wish that I had done some sort of page about that, but oh well. Uh, so I just put a little picture of my, my bump. I think I was, it's probably about halfway at this point, maybe and paired it with a lot of pink things because I love pink and why not? So I figure if you've got a favorite color, splash it in your projects as much as you want, put it anywhere. I use pink for everything. Um, I've scrapped so many photos of Archie with pink flowers and things and I, I love them because when I'm looking through my albums, pink makes me happy and yeah, so it makes me, makes me smile when I look through them. So I did um, a lot of pink and black accents to match with my dress for this one and then here I had this sticker that said um, you are my wish come true but I lost the E in the sticker and it was driving me crazy so I just wrote the word true and then after filming it I found the E and it was like stuck on my dressing gown or it was stuck somewhere random um, and so that was annoying but I like it it gives a bit more focus to it, I guess. Uh, some more little photos in the, of that same night, actually. Uh, and this was the middle of winter for us and wasn't really going anywhere or doing anything. And so it was a rare occasion that I actually did my hair and, and put on a, a nice dress. So I thought while I was in a lovely frock, I should probably take a few extra photos with Archie. Uh, and I was just talking a little bit about him getting a sibling and just my because I'm an only child I've never had the experience of siblings and um, it's a completely foreign concept to me um, I didn't have a lot of experience with like kids growing up I guess you could say or like little younger kids um, a lot of my mums and dads family friends all had children the same age as me and um, before I'd held when I had Archie he was the first baby I'd ever met or held. I'd never, I'd never held a, a baby before. So I really don't have experience with, <laughs> with siblings. And so I just wanted to talk um, a little bit um, about that. Another little bunny page. And this was one that I was determined to use up some old stickers. So I recognize this one from uh, one of my oldest sticker stashes from Amy Tan. Also try to use some cut aparts down here. Uh, six by six paper pads, uh, the cut apart sheets that are in them are fantastic for traveler's notebooks. They're just like the right little, little snippet of a size to include. You can see here, I never, I always say, don't trust washi tape. It's been less than six months and it's already coming off. I'll have to glue that down uh, again later on. Just picking up the colors from inside the rug. Oh, I love this page. <laughs> I love this page because this was when I I was feeling a bit chaotic in my traveler's notebook and I took a little break from it and I came back and I had flipped through some of my previous inserts and um, like I mentioned before I really liked the magazine images that I used to include that I now don't just because I don't buy magazines very often um, whereas back in that day I had a subscription to Frankie so it was always you know coming in I think it was monthly at that point uh, and so I, I always had access to new images but now I really don't and so I tried to find a few little things that I that I liked to include and I also went a little crazy with the older sticker sheets and I included all sorts of teeny tiny random things like limes and um, these I would call them like a, a milk McFlurry milkshake kind of cup um, with coffee or special water or something in them. You can tell that I have a very limited uh, palette of things that I drink. <laughs> I have the diet of a four-year-old. Um, and also random things like a pineapple and a check mark and 
a Ferris wheel. Was he on a Ferris wheel? Nope. Has he ever been on a Ferris wheel? Nope. So I better use the stickers up because <laughs> I don't know when I'll get a chance to use them. And yeah, like I said, I love my Traveller's Notebook to be kind of like a fun, chaotic little mismatch of photos and memories and all the... I feel a bit more freedom in here. This was the final page that was a recent process video and uh, I made a little tip in, a little flippy flap with another fake um, photo strip and I got some photos of some of my fave scrappy peeps. I love these girls and I'm so very lucky to have stumbled upon them in my life. Um, a lot of stars aligned I think to, to get us all to meet and I'm very very grateful for them uh, and I was using up some more of the little you know random sticker sheets I have a sticker sheet that's all about friends and like I said I don't go anywhere a lot so <laughs> I know the kids I could put stickers about friendship with them but um, I try to save them for when I've got some social occasion photos this was uh, the backing of a sticker sheet and so was this actually and I, I like them too much and I didn't want to get rid of them and that is insert number three. So I hope you've enjoyed this little rambly video and check out the other, woo, the other inserts. Um, if you are a new subscriber and you want to have a little bit more journaling action in your day today, and I have started insert number four and going forward with my journal with me videos, I've actually decided to make them double process videos every time. So because I was editing the videos and when I speed them up to two times um, speed they were only coming out as like seven minutes and that's not long enough for a journal with me video. If I, I know if personally if I sit down and watch, um, watch a video I, you know, I, I want to sit down and enjoy it for more than seven minutes. So there's, I've filmed, I think I've filmed four videos so far, yes I think. Um, and so they'll be coming up um, very soon. Oh, I can show you this one actually. So this was one that I did recently with some Patreon printables that I had created. Um, but yes, yeah, so there'll be lots of journal with me videos and tip-ins and all sorts of fun things coming right up. But thank you for watching today, peeps. And if you've got any questions about Traveller's Notebooks or anything journaly um, or if you've got any requests for like specific themes of pages in my traveler's notebook or supplies to use please let me know in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it helps my channel be found by new inklets and i'll see you all very soon bye